The Killer Perk Hex Plaything was made for Pig and Dead by Daylight. Hear me out. Hex Plaything is a perk belonging to our buddy the Cenobite, aka Pinhead. He'll tear our soul apart, yada yada yada. We get a duty like pain. Whenever a survivor is hooked for the first time, if there is a dull totem still up in the match, Hex Plaything activates. The hooked survivor suffers from the cursed and oblivious status effects until Hex Plaything is cleansed. For the first 90 seconds, only the cursed survivor is able to cleanse their own totem. Now with Pig, this is a very, very powerful perk because it gives survivors another objective to do on top of generators as well as taking off the reverse bear traps. It just buys you so much time as a killer, and with Pig, who is notoriously mediocre at most everything in the game, that's a good thing. Let's see some recent games I had with Pig running Hex Plaything to demonstrate how brutal this perk can be. The rest of the build consists of Jolt, Scourge Hook Pain Resonance, and Save the Best for Last. For add-ons, we'll be running the Bag of Gears and the rule set number 2. Overall, this is maybe the most brutal build for Pig, as it really forces survivors to make some difficult choices while making generator repair extremely difficult. I'll put some information in the description below if you want to read more about what each of these perks and add-ons does. Before we jump into the matches, if you haven't already, please take a moment to like this video, as well as subscribe to our channel so you never miss new content. We're new around these parts, and as a poor lowly pig player, Amanda here would really appreciate all the support you can give her. Alright y'all, let's jump in. Alright, bottom. They uh, they did pick this map, they used an offering. Curious why they would take us here, but let's do it. All right, so yeah, the goal with this is we want to get survivors down fast. Make sure that we get some uh, play things out, as well as some reverse bear traps, and put some pressure on this early game. That's really where pig shines is just uh, dominating the early game, and uh, then just coasting through the rest. All right. One more time and this is blocked. You gonna hang around? Nope. Alright, leaves the, the shack. Uh, we can get this hit. Are you gonna vault again? No? Alright, cool. Nice, chill, first down, get a head trap on you. And... There's a scourge hook. So yeah, when you're a survivor playing against Pig, the thing you want to do is just bang out as many gens as you can before that first bear trap goes out. Because if this is a swift, I'm sure they're going to uh, want to slow down, not do a gen, not activate that bear trap. Especially if we can get uh, one or two more of these out. Alright, so Scourge Hook hit this gen. They were around here somewhere. What? Please tell me that's not somebody AFK. That's that's an AFK notification. Definitely an AFK note. What are you doing? Who is this? And the thing is too, like, this game took, I don't know, a solid two minutes to load into. It's not like it was instant. What? Why? Why are you AFK? All right, let's put a trap on you and get you on a hook. You are sandbagging your team, my guy. All right, so Scourge Hook grabbed that. Jeff, I believe, runs off to the right. Here's a Jake. Oh, that's a fence, buddy. No, no opening there. All right. Jolt hits that. Bear trap on you. All right, so we've got three bear traps, three playthings. They're definitely going to uh, slow down to take care of these things. All right, well, that Dwight is not AFK anymore. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Swing and a miss. There we go. Got the hit. Not dropping the pallet. All right. Okay, nice. Nice. Connects, and we get the pallet. All right, now we hear Jake crying behind us. He's probably trying to get his trap off. Yep. And he he just, he stops, he knows. <laughs> Sorry, my guy. Yeah, this, you just, I don't know, you really dominate early game with Pig with a build like this. It's just brutal. Thank you, sir. This is our only friend without a bear trap on his head. 
Alright, that's... We'll leave... Yeah, is that Jake? We'll leave Jake alone. Where's Dwight? Where's the, the sandbagger? We'll be doing your team a favor. I'm taking you out. No, he's on his totem. Nope. Sorry, my guy. Back on a hook you go. Jeff, look, if you knew that this dude was just AFK for a solid two, three minutes at the start, you'd be thanking us. There you go. All right, there's Jeff. Target acquired. Oh wait, Ada, cleanse that upstairs. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, Ada. Wrong place, wrong time. And I think this is Ada out of the match. Yep, okay. Yeah, this is uh, this is a nasty, nasty build for Pig. All right, let's play around this pallet. This is not safe for you, sir. Drop it. All right. Thank you. All right. Good to know. All right. Nope. Not getting us with the blind. But we are gonna get you with that. All right. So now we are out of bear traps, but we're, I don't know, eight hooks. Still sitting at five gens. We are in pretty good shape. Like if they, if they get one gen done, I'm going to be super impressed. Cause the rest of the build too, it's, Brutal. Jolt is so good on Pig. Pairing that with Scourge Hook. It's just... Gnarly, gnarly build. Alright, let's get this out of the way. Now just to, to mow through some pallets and then get some downs. Alright. You double back. You double back again. Let's just corner this and then hold it forward. Anything over here? Nope. Alright. No, I think this might be Jake out of the match. Are you out? You are. Alright. And then there were two. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, that gen, I mean, we should let him. Let's ignore him. Let's let him do that gen. That way these traps activate. And hey, look. We know where Jeff is. This Dwight really wants our attention, though. He wants out. He said, I have worked very little in this game, and I want out. I have AFK'd at the start, and therefore, I deserve to be out. We're going to sort of let him sit on the ground while we chase this Jeff. Thank you. Oh, I should not have hesitated. Yep, I don't get that now. All right, let's get this out of the way. Yes, yes, yes. Give me the blind. Give me the blind. All right, goes downstairs. Now he's got a pallet downstairs. You're not gonna come up this way. Nah. This guy's smart. All right. Let's just try for it. Nope. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Give us the blind. All right, he vaults out this side. He's gonna double back and go behind the house. Oh no, he goes this way, okay. I mean, this guy knows what he's doing. This is uh, a good player we got. It just sort of sucks that he's 
paired with somebody like this Dwight. Oh, Dwight DCs. Okay, cool. Trying to give him hatch, I guess. Because, yeah, buddy, you had no qualms, Dwight, being AFK at the start and just do nothing. We thought this would be comfortable for you to slug you. All right. Nice little dead hard. We're going to get you, buddy. All right. And on a hook you go. All right, area crows. We're starting right at Killer Shack. Uh, let's head back to this left corner. Oh, we do hear something right here, though. Easy peasy. Drop it. Thank you. Now, this is our obsession. I'd prefer to get some save the best for last stacks. But let's just follow this a little bit. He may lead us to others. You're going upstairs. We're not going to go upstairs just yet. Also, they brought some offerings to make this dark mist pretty thick, which looks kind of bad on this map. It's like cloudy with a chance of fuck you. All right, two people on that. Thank you. So this was a Felix and a Quentin back here. Now is Quentin still just hanging out over here? We saw him mosey on over this way. You can't see more than five feet in front of you in this map. Ugh. This mist. All right, they're running around upstairs. I think there's at least two. And somebody in a locker. Hey, head on. All right, now usually I think it's really, really, really dumb to give chase up here. But if they're going to hang out up here, let's just get this out of the way. Let's make it so we can chase up here later. But yeah, we're not going to waste too much time up here. Go back to Jens. Oh, yeah. All right, this has got to be Quentin. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to guess. I mean, this seems a little coordinated. It might be like a small swift. I don't know if it's a four man. Nice. But yeah, I'm sure one is like, let me distract her while you go do Jens. Eye on the prize. Prize is the Jens. All right. So not as good a start as the last match. They did get a gen done. It would have been nice to get a, uh, a hat trap or two out before that gen got done, but what are you going to do? Yeah, this mist is brutal. This is like... Wicked, wicked. All right, there's... Yeah. Just standing still trying to blend in. <laughs> Maybe she won't see me. <laughs> Look, I, I respect it. All right, so this uh, this pallet is down. This should be a pretty easy down for us. All right. Another trap out. All right, somebody, yep. Hi, Jeff. It is our obsession, but he's right here. Why not? Come on, just drop it, dude. Thank you. All right, not really anything else around here he can play with. All right. Nice little hat for you. There you go. All 
I had somebody was back here. I think there was a Quentin's foot we just saw run behind this. Hello, sir. Gonna try to, yeah, FOV, attack and run back into me. Yep. Okay. I know you've already had a trap, but we're gonna give you another. Since you enjoyed that first one so much. All right, there's a Felix. Hello. All right, now he's gonna run us up here. You turn to the left. Yep, all right. So we know that that pallet is gone and this is a scar choke right behind us. So we can get some value out of this. Yeah, he, he stops. He just, he knows. He knows this is over for him. There you go. All right. There goes a Jeff. Drop it. Thank you. All right, so Fang went for the save. Her trap is now off. The only trap still active is Jeff's. But I think we have uh, sufficiently slowed the game down enough in our favor. All right, can we ambush you? Nope. All right. He leaves us anyway, that's fine. We can just M1 this. And there you go. Yeah, I don't really often see a lot of uh, survivors bring this, any offerings to affect the Dark Mist. So when you see it, it's kind of, it's kind of jarring. And it is effective in, in really, you know, uh, blocking your view a bit. All right, I guess they just hopped right on this after they unhooked. You upstairs. Eh, I'm not going to waste too much time going up there and exploring. Oh, look. A Felix. Uh, he jumped in this locker with quick and quiet. Good try, buddy. There you go. Yeah, I mean, with a with a build like this too, you're not even really using your traps for any mores. You're just using it for the slowdown. Like it is, it is so effective with plaything. So so brutal. Uh, all right, let's go. Let's go party upstairs, man. Balance landing. Well, if you did, it wasn't useful. All right, where? Quit crawling away. Come on. You know what's happening. All right. So that is Jeff out of the match. It sucks because we don't have any stacks to save the best for last, but we'll we'll be fine. All right. Then there were two. So. They're likely going to be a little bit more evasive at this stage. And they really can use this uh, mist to their advantage, so... We gotta keep our eyes and our ears open. So let's walk to one side of the map, give them a false sense of security, and then let's crouch back. Why, hello. Yeah, we're not going to make this. 
But hey, style points. All right. And running behind. Okay, definitely don't make that. Now, are you gonna play around with Tina while, or are you just gonna leave? All right, she leaves. Maybe trying to use this miss to her advantage. She went down in front of these lockers. Let's just good measure. Check it. I think Felix is the one who had the, the head on earlier. All right. Nothing. Cool. We're not going to have any idea where he went. Do you see this? You can't see anything. All right. So she's over to our left. We can hear her crying a little bit. He's got quick and quiet, which means he could have hopped into a locker without us knowing. Oh, yeah, this is going to be brutal. All right, let's just try to end this and get the thing out. Okay, she's still hanging out here, trying to heal. What's up, Fang? All right, let's put you down. There you go. All right, let's... Try to find a hatch. No offering. Oh, wow. They really only brought two of these missed offerings. A purple one and a yellow one. And this is... I mean, imagine if they brought, like, three purple ones. It'd be crazy. All right. We hear a hatch. We see a hatch. All right. Now it's just a uh, matter of surveilling these doors. And there he is. Hello. All right, drop it. Thank you. Do you vote it? You do? Yeah, this was a really, really brutal build for Pig. This is, I think, her single most powerful build. Plaything just makes a huge world of difference and it gives survivors something else to do and it eats up so much time. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please drop a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody.